Hello. Hello. How are you Hi, doing? What are you doing? Ooh. I'm doing fantastic. Hey, buddy. Do we both have suspenders yeah. on? Do we? I think so. Yeah, we do, man. Look at that. We're suspender <laughs> brothers. Hey, suspendies. Hey. <laughs> Dude, Hi, what are you doing? doing over here? Is this, this is your game? This is can, my can card I, game. Can, Look, I, can I see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This has as many cards as I've done so far. There's a lot more to do, but it's moving along nicely. You have to be kidding. This is beautiful, man. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait for you guys to play. This is so, so nice. So, you, you know, hey, hey, I heard from the grapevine that somebody... Somebody called me old in the previous previous episode. No. This last episode, no. I don't know he, what you actually em uh. he actually empathized on the old part, no. which made me sad. You know, come on. And you know what? I just I just came here to yeah. to, to, to to admit, you know, the beautiful shipwreck you had in season seven or yeah. six, seven. Yeah, I blew it up. Mm -hmm. I did it. <laughs> what? That's right. Yeah, it was me. I I, I ordered the the, the the boom 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 boys to 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 go ba boom with the ship. Mm -hmm. How how could you do? That was a historical site. Was not. It was a, It was for my my villagers to explore. It was their scuba diving um area. Well, they got a harbor instead. <laughs> Beautiful ship dock. They got a crater in the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I came here because you know you might be knees. I, I'm gonna. No, I'm not sure you've got them. You, Dude, you don't have them. For real? How much do I owe you? Nothing, man. For nothing. real? Like, yeah. I want. I don't want to be called old. That's the only thing. Oh. But, but the ship is still go. Uh, yeah, it was me. The ship's That's still gone. Okay, well, <laughs> well, yeah, that, the old was the payback forever. for that then. <laughs> that I didn't know I needed. No, dude. Honestly, like I'm, I'm intrigued about this game. Uh, so I kind of thought, like, I'm gonna gift you a little thingy. Mm -hmm. Oh, awesome! I really appreciate because it. This... this saves me a lot of time. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, especially in the Nether, I guess. I, I flew yeah. all the way here. Oh. So yeah, it took me a while. Yeah, it's but, a, it's but, a long yeah, ways away. So nice. Thanks, dude. Look I appreciate it. No worries, man. I love your suspenders, though. <laughs> we time. have matching suspenders. It's amazing. <laughs> How about the back? Do you have suspenders? Like, the, what does the back of your suspenders look like? Is it straight? Yeah, yeah, oh, no, yeah, we yeah. have no, sort no, of no. the same design, too. It's like you got a little bit of an X. <laughs> I got a little bit of a, a little straight action. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's great. The boomer boomer bros. I love it. <laughs> All right, man. I'm not going to keep you up. This All is right, amazing, dude. by the way. I Absolutely appreciate it. Amazing. Good luck. Have thank fun. You. And now we can fly. You know and thank you so way. much is for it, this it, elytra. I really appreciate it. Yeah. No worries, man. Is it, is it hard finding your way? Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you real quick. It's not that hard. Okay. Woo. Up these stairs. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Come on, Come on guy. He's going to... Let gonna... him just get... Oh, oh no. Oh. My portal. <laughs> Corrals, <laughs> I have no portal now. <laughs> I'm trying to aim. What? I have no arrows. I have no arrows. Otherwise, I would have... Oh, man. Now I got to oh, go all the way back no. with you. I guess I'll escort you back. <laughs> At least they got an elytra. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Oh, Wait you a have... moment. I can just oh, do this. That's, that's fantastic. Okay. So ah, to get home, see? you just go straight. Yeah. It's just a straight shot pretty much. And then eventually you'll have to turn... You'll, you'll see. You'll just have to turn right and then left. But there's really uh, no other okay. option. Okay. Just head towards. Okay, wish um, me luck. Yeah, head, head towards that way. That way. Okay, good, that way. Good luck. Wish and thanks again for this. East. Thanks again for this elytra. No worries, it's going to help me a lot. Enjoy it. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy it. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks to Corrales, I'm able to see the maps from the sky for the first time ever, and boy, do they look amazing! Oh, this is so cool. Corrales is such a nice guy. He's not old at all. He's young at heart. Anyway, yeah, look at this. There's the other card that's starting that I mentioned in, at the end of the last episode. This is going to be the player cards, but I'm not quite ready to start those yet. We are going to start on another card today. Uh, not just start it. We're going to finish it. We're going to, we're going to, well, we already took apart the, um, the emerald here in the middle, and we're going to replace it with something else. This card is going to have a pretty cool effect. Uh-oh. Lag? Ooh. Oh, boy. I better land before things get ugly. Ooh, look at this, guys. I just caught, I think this is my very first axolotl that I've caught in vanilla ever. And it's a brown guy. Huh? Oh, come back. And now I want to catch another one. No, no, no. I want you. I want you. There we go. Okay, I got two axolotls. This is exciting. By the way, in case you're wondering, I'm out in a cave. This is the cave that I came 
uh, when XB called me and then he murdered me. Just kidding. It was the it was the creeper that murdered me. He indirectly murdered me just by calling me over here and making me come to this cave unprepared. I blame XB. <laughs> Hashtag blame XP. But anyway, I'm gonna need a lot of iron for this um this map that I'm working on now. So I'm out here getting as much iron as possible. So oh, there's another one here. It's also another pink one though. So I'm gonna leave it be for now. Uh, I need about uh, three stacks, four stacks of iron and um well, iron pressure plates actually. So it's going to take me a little while, but it shouldn't take me too long. And so far, I've been doing really good. And the added bonus is I might be able to find some diamond, which I could all, always use for purchasing power. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Think of all the blocks I can buy. Um, How many did I actually get here? Let's see. Let's get rid of the two. Really? Really? This is a fortune pick. This is a fortune pick, and two diamond blocks turned into two diamonds. Oh boy! You know this this game is determined to make to keep me the poorest hermit on the server. It doesn't matter though, guys. We're not we're not after we're not after diamonds this season. We're after fun. <laughs> well, how do you do? How about you turn into more than? Okay, there's at least four there, right? Two. We got five. Okay, five. Is there any more blue, shiny rock stuff here? No, there isn't. I'm on my way back already because I can't afford to go on these long caving expeditions, guys. These things, this project is going to take a long time and I want to just keep the momentum going. I will say that I don't, I can't remember the last time I've had this much fun with a project because, because I know there's like a clear goal. I know how fun it could end up being for everybody so i'm really really motivated to get this thing going and it's been a long long time since i felt that kind of motivation um and excitement oh you got it you got a you got a guy behind you aha take care of that for me my zombie bodyguard who's gonna win ah you won huh okay I think another part of that whole thing is that it's so different than uh, what I've ever done before. And it's so different in general from what you typically see in Minecraft that, uh, you know, usually it's builds and stuff. And obviously there's nothing wrong with that. I love a good build as much as the next person. But I am excited to do something different. I can't pick up these guys at all. Come on. Come on. Do a thing for me, will ya? Thank you. By the way, I really like this block. This is a nice looking block. I gotta use it in some sort of build in the future. But anyway, uh, all right, let's get this. Uh, let's get this like this. I keep saying I'm going home, and then I get sucked into like another little cave. And um, I mean, I don't want to get greedy because you never know what could happen, like death. So that would be bad. Okay, now I'm going home. Check it out. My next effect card is complete. It's the wolf card. The wolf card does an additional 40 damage if the hermit makes contact on their turn. There are cards that will prevent contact, so you got to use this card wisely. It's basically like Minecraft. If you go up to a mob and you hit the mob, the wolf goes and attacks the mob with you. So that's what the wolf card does when played. Um, and also, as you can see, the, oh, I'm a little laggy. I don't know what's going on. Look, check this out. Wait, wait, F1. Oh, now it's down to three. So a while back, I was having so much lag, but I had like five bars, and I didn't understand what was going on because it was laggy, but my bars were full. Also, I didn't realize how much I missed using an elytra and rockets. Like, I am using this for everything. Let me show you guys the wolf card anyway. Uh, I guess I could put it down right here, right? Boop. And a boop. Wolf. Wolf. Beautiful card. You know, I'm kind of bummed that there are two shades here, and you can barely see them. So it, I, I tried other blocks. It, they just didn't work. The, the gray was too gray. Um, so you're just going to have to imagine that these two. You see this section right here? This section is different than the top and the bottom here. But anyway, the wolf card. This is going to be a fun card to use. you got to be smart with it. And it is a single-use card. So um, you know what? Maybe it's not... I can't remember what I put in my notes, but I'll have to re I'll have to refer back to them. I think it was single use, 
because it might be i mean if it's only 40 hp it might not be too overpowered to um to keep and attach to a hermit so maybe it's not single use i don't know i'll have to check my notes but anyway that's what the wolf card does that's what the wolf card looks like and somebody in my comments a bunch of people in my comments actually in the last episode <laughs> made a very very good point this is where i was keeping all my cards i was one creeper blast away from losing days worth of work dozens of hours dozens and dozens and dozens of hours worth of work and i and I, it kind of like popped into my head and i sort of had like a mini panic attack like oh my gosh i gotta get rid of those cards so the cards are now in here i've named them all um i'll, I'll come up with better names so this will say like energy balanced uh and then this one probably say rare energy balanced and i'll have like little maybe like a little star on it or something on the name um so yeah i'll rename them but this is just for um i guess reference sake so the wolf card course wolf locked ah but you say why do you have two because i made a backup set of cards and they're all over here so i have two sets if by for some reason the server glitches out and i lose all the cards inside of my end chest i have all the cards here so I'm going to keep those safe. I'm not going to display them. I can't believe I was just doing that. I honestly cannot believe. And thank you guys so much, the people who commented about it. Thank you for reminding me because that was rough. Okay. Also, some some really cool points were made in the last episode. I could basically just do the... Um, oh, no. See what I mean about the lag? I could... Woo! That would have been bad if I didn't hit the space bar again. I can basically just build multiple beacon blocks like the, the the base for the beacon underneath these and then just have the one block covering it above it and then obviously when it's time to take everything out i remove the one block and then everything goes a lot quicker and by putting them in the middle here i don't have to rebuild them i mean underneath it i don't have to rebuild them it's 50 blocks in each direction which gives me a lot of coverage not full coverage but a lot of coverage on each of these maps and I can just swap the beacon out from place to place if I don't want to farm multiple with wither heads, right? And I definitely have enough emerald blocks to do that with. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I have to find sort of the halfway point here. So that's going to require a little bit of counting. This is the middle. Now, how do I go about marking this off? I guess I could just estimate it every time I want to sort of take apart a card also i'm assuming the beacon will work if these blocks are immersed in water i don't see why they why it wouldn't work um and one other thing is i don't have the whole beacon yet um i actually don't even have like uh the 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 um obsidian necessary for it so i gotta go find that but let's just build this real quick i feel like this is going to be difficult here i'm gonna make a cross so that i can come back for air oh boy this is this is gonna be difficult um hmm how do i do this oh man uh okay let me get this let me get these blocks right here i have to come up with some sort of a strategy maybe some doors or something so i can breathe so if the beacon is gonna go on this block can i just do this as my final thing right then, then the beacon goes here and then it goes straight up so i've got to build around that so once again i'm gonna go ahead and open this up just a tad so that i don't drown that's always a good idea right drowning is is never fun for anybody um okay so now i can start to build around this block oh boy i am going to drown I am going to drown. <laughs> Guaranteed. Uh, okay. That's one level. Wait, how many levels is it? Four, I think, right? Just about... I mean... <laughs> oh, I'm not just about done. Don't. I'm going to take some damage here. Come on, one more. I can take this. Yeah, drowning never hurt anybody. Except for when it kills them. Okay, so, um, that's it. Now I gotta, ugh, I gotta work on this whole beacon part where I need, I need the, the, the black stuff, the obsidian. I think that's gonna work, right? I don't, I don't see why it wouldn't work. 
One and a two and a one and a two. Fantastic. Of course, I lost two buckets of lava, but does that really matter? No, because the lava was used to build these platforms and I'll never need them again. Okay, I had to look up the recipe for the beacon, by the way. How many? Are you guys like as clueless about some recipes as I am? I know. I'm an old man. I've been playing this game for far too long. I should know what these recipes are by offhand, but I do not. So um, please don't hate me for it. But are you guys like me and you just forget really old recipes? Like the beacon's been around a long time and I just could not remember how it was crafted. Even though it kind of looks exactly like, it kind of looks exactly like you craft it. But anyway, here's the beacon. Do I have anything to, well, I was gonna use iron. Iron will do. Um, okay, let's go and set this thing up. Hopefully it works. I mean, I don't need it right now anyway, but it, it'll be nice to have. And I like the fact that I made it flush with them um, with this area here with with the ooh, no With this uh, thing because now I can actually just place a block on it When I'm building stuff wait, is it like this? It's not like this right no Wait, I don't even do I need see this is what I mean do I need silk touch No, you don't need silk touch to break this thing, but I'm using it anyway just in case all right right there Right there. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, boy. Haste, jump, boost, resistance, and strength. Thank you. <laughs> now I just have to build this little tower over there. Yeah. Second one complete. I'm just going to leave this here for now so I can. I am able to jump out. Like so. Look at that jump, guys. Look at that jump. Yes, I have locked the wolf map already, so <laughs> I'm not screwing up his entire face. Okay, good. So now I have the two beacons. I will eventually... Did I... Is this one way off? Oh, okay. I thought I thought it was, like, way further north. I counted the same way. 64 blocks from the corner into the middle here, so we should be pretty good. And, um... What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I might build another one back there when I start building the Hermit cards on the other map. But for now, this is okay. Once again, thanks to Impulse for this sweet, sweet deal of all these emeralds. I could have never done it without them. Um, I think I've been thinking while I was doing that, it would be nice to just have an additional beacon. Because then, if I kind of drift out of the beacon zone, because it, it is only 50 blocks and it's 64 blocks from the center... I might be able to somehow catch, like if I'm flying across, you know what I mean, guys? I mean, there's not going to be an overlap, but it might be close enough that maybe I'll catch the residual effects of it or something. And plus, I'd, I kind of want to have two sparkles of light coming out of these maps. One of these days, I'll time how long it takes me to run down this tunnel, uh, how long it takes me to actually fly down this tunnel, and the amount of times that I have ran down this tunnel is sickening to think about because it'll really illustrate how much time I've wasted. With the rockets, it is over in a flash. And when you're making this many maps, every second counts. <laughs> so this is really nice. I can't believe... Oh, Corrales. Such great people on this server. Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> First impulse fleecing me for a lifetime... Get it? Fleecing me for a lifetime supply of wool. And then Corrales just giving me an elytra. I mean, that was really, really kind of him. I, I did not expect that in the least. You know, sometimes people think, oh, is this stuff staged? Like, did he know he was... I had no idea he was... I don't even know how he found me, actually. I should ask him. Because it's not posted anywhere, I don't think. I don't think I posted it any in, in the uh, group chat and stuff like that. So, I don't know how he found me, but he found me. And he gave me the best gift ever. Ever. Anyway, I'm going to go over and try to get some uh, wither skulls. It might take me a little while. It might take me no time at all. Either way, though, I'm going to I'm gonna give it a shot. Where is the... Oh, right here. This is where one, one hermit enters and hopefully one hermit leaves. Woo! That took a long time. Um, so the other day, when I got my first beacon, I probably killed maybe 20. Maybe 20 withers, and I got the three skulls. I think I probably killed at least... 70 or 80 today before I got the three skulls. Actually, we can probably look in the stats. Let me just go ahead and murder this wither first. That shouldn't take me too long. There we go. Got another one of these guys. A wither's head. Oh, so this one's different than the one I got before. That's intr... Wait, where's the star? Okay. 
Ooh, for a second there, I thought there was no star. Um, all right, so the stats, stats, options. It is. Eh, I don't look at these very often. Chat setting. That's probably. Oh, probably where it says statistics. Mobs, and it's gonna be wither, eighty one. So I killed about three times more. I think the second try around, <laughs> I killed about sixty. This time, and about twenty the first time. That's okay. It's okay. We've got our second nether star. Hello, guys. Oh, I always go the wrong way when I come out of there. We are done. I didn't time that very well. Guys, that is going to be it for this episode. But again, before we go, let me reveal to you guys Gem's card. You chose Gem as a builder, which now means I believe we have two builders, two balanced, one redstone, one PVP. Am I right? I think I'm right. Anyway, the next card you have to vote on is Grian's. This should be an interesting one. I know I say that for probably like every single hermit, but this one, this one's a little tricky. Get it? Tricky? <laughs> um, don't let my uh, my clues influence what you want to vote Grian as. But go ahead and head over to my community, community page. Vote for what you want to see Grian's card type to be. I don't know if that was a proper sentence, but I'm just going to let it fly. And thank you for watching today's episode. We only got one card today, only one card done today, but hey, we got two beacons, which will help us immensely when I start to take these things apart, which is right about now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click the, the like button if you enjoyed this video and enjoy my project in general and click the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you again for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.